When Apple introduced the dynamic island with the iPhone 14 Pro, a lot of people were quick to call it a gimmick. But over the years, Apple has added so much more to it, and third-party developers have really stepped up their game. And now, I honestly think the dynamic island is one of the best features on the iPhone, period. So in this video, I want to show you why the dynamic island is so useful, how I'm using it in my daily life, and some tricks that you probably did not even know about. Okay, so first off, just to be clear, we have the dynamic island up here inside of the pill shaped cutout and then we also have live activities right here on the lock screen so they're similar but they are different so the dynamic island comes from the pill shaped cutout to display those interactive real-time notifications and information and you can long press on it to get additional functionality now Meanwhile, we have the lock screen right here or the notification center where you have live activity. So these are also interactive and they're real time. As you can see, it's moving and we do have the option to pause or X out of that. And we can also swipe to clear it. And the whole point of these live activities and the dynamic island is to show persistent activities like timers, media, sports scores, things like that. Now, this is typically enabled by default for applications, but if it is not, you might have to go into your settings and then into the apps section and then go into any app with a live activity, whether that be third party or first party, and you will see a section for live activities where you can enable that. Now, before I show you some incredible third party applications that take advantage of the dynamic island, let me first show you some first party applications and some kind of built in features that Apple has that takes full advantage of the dynamic island. And the first one is one that most of you are probably aware of, but I do need to mention it because it's so awesome. And that is the flashlight. So once you invoke the flashlight here, it will appear up there in the dynamic island you can tap and hold on that to change the beam strength and also you can see you can change the width of the flashlight you cannot access this menu from anywhere else except for in the dynamic island and then you can of course tap on it and it will turn off the flashlight with that animation if you have an apple tv there's a live activity for apple tv as well if you have the remote on your phone so you can see i have that now if i go out you can see up here in the dynamic island we have this now playing view for the apple tv where we can go back or forward 10 seconds we can play or pause we can change the audio or we can go right into the remote from the dynamic island and here's another good use case for the dynamic island and that is when you're getting airdropped a file so it will show up there in the dynamic island and of course it will appear here in your photos once it's done and here's one that a lot of people don't know about if you download a file inside of safari and you can see it is downloading right here currently if you go out of safari it will appear up there in the dynamic island and from there it will show you the live stats for how much of that file is downloaded you could also stop it over there and also if you swipe down you will see this as a live activity on your lock screen as well so if we want to stop it we'll just tap right there and it will cancel that download without having to go back into safari now here is an example of my favorite first party application that takes advantage of the dynamic island and live activities and that is the apple sports application if you're into sports there is not a better app out there in my opinion for dynamic island animations and just a clean ui in general but you could see here if we go to this game the mets and dodgers for example we'll tap this live activities button right there if we go out of the application it will show the score the whole time so if we go into X for example if we go into any different application it will continue showing that score up top and if you tap and hold on that it will show you not only the inning who's on base the balls and strikes it will also show you the latest play right there as well and of course it does update live and this does also show right here as a live activity on the lock screen and what's cool about the apple sports application is if you go into here and go to the little settings right here you do have the option to turn on or off live activities for specific teams so since i have it enabled for formula one anytime a formula one race starts it will automatically start the live activity up in my dynamic island and also on the lock screen so that is amazing especially if you're not sure what time a game starts you will always be in the know with your sports team's scores and if you're just playing music on your device of course you will get the live activity for that song right up here in the dynamic island when you tap and hold you get the option to fast forward or rewind you can go forward back pause you can favorite it and of course you can change the airplay where you have the source music going to and by the way this also works for spotify so you can see it up here for spotify and it does also work for youtube so if you have a youtube premium account and you have background play if you start playing that video you will see it appear up there in the dynamic island where you can tap and hold and you get the same options as 
as if it were Apple Music or Spotify. And then one of my favorite ones that I use all the time is when you're on a phone call. So if you take a phone call or a FaceTime call, if you go out of that, you will see up top, it will show how long you've been on that call along with the waveforms. If you're talking and if you long press on that, that will give you the option to end the call. Or of course you can press this to change, you know, from speaker to your iPhone or whatnot. And of course it does show the time up there as well when you do that. So that's one I use all the time when I'm on a call. Also with Apple Maps, Google Maps, or any Maps application, you will get the Dynamic Island support for turn by turn direction. So if I haptic press on that, it will show me my next turn and I can also end the route straight from there. You'll also see an animation in the Dynamic Island and you can see it shows right there when you go to screen record. So when you're screen recording, it will show that in the Dynamic Island. And if you haptic press on that, that will show you how long you've been recording for and also the option to stop it without having to go back into control center and if you tap on that it will take you to that specific screen recording also in the apple news application back when the election was going on you have live election results up here in the dynamic island which was really useful but that's really the only thing i found useful in apple news for live elections now if you go into the shortcuts application this is another area where we have one that i like so if you go to run a shortcut right here so we'll just do this one right here you will notice that it happens in the dynamic island so if i press on that and i go out you can see the shortcut kind of running here inside of the dynamic island up top it shows the progress and you can stop it up there if you would like to as well and then here's one that's very simple but i have to mention it when you charge your device it will show the charging indicator and the percentage up there it will come out of the dynamic island also the face id animation comes out of the dynamic island so if i go to unlock my passwords right there you can see it comes out of the dynamic island anything that you set to the action button will pretty much show up in the dynamic island so if, whether that's focus mode so if i go to focus right here you can see it pops pops up right there outside of the dynamic island, which is really cool. We have something like voice memo. So if I do that, it will pop up right here outside of the dynamic island and it goes up there and you can tap and hold on that and it will show you the waveforms along with how long you've been recording and a way to stop that recording now translate has one of the best dynamic island animations so if i go right here and haptic press on that you can see we get this really cool animation a really cool interface there that's coming straight out of the dynamic island and it shows exactly what i'm saying in real time straight from the dynamic island. I think that's awesome. This is one of the best use cases. I wish I had more uses for the Translate app on a daily basis just because I love that animation and how it works here on the dynamic island. Okay, so enough with the built-in first party use cases for the dynamic island. Let me show you some of my favorite third party applications that take full advantage of the dynamic island. And we're gonna start this off with ChatGPT because ChatGPT has one of the most useful use cases for the dynamic island that I've seen. And that is when you go into the advanced voice mode. So if you go into advanced voice mode and then you go out of it, you can see it will live up here even when you're outside the application in the dynamic island. So you can speak at any time and you can access this right from here without having to go back into the application. And you can kind of just see that it's always living right there. Now here is one that just recently got support for the dynamic island and live activities. And that is the Tesla application when you are supercharging. So if you go to a supercharger, you will now have a live activity. And of course this pops out of the dynamic island and it will show your current charge percentage, how long you have left until you're done supercharging it shows the charge limit it shows how fast you're charging and it shows a picture of your car which is pretty awesome and then here is easily one of my most used third-party applications when it comes to the dynamic island and live activities and that is uber and uber eats now this does also work for lyft i just mostly use uber and uber eats but this will show you how long until your ride arrives how long until you get to your destination and of course same with food it shows how long until the person arrives with your food and of course when they do drop that off so this works incredibly well both in the dynamic island and also on the live activity for more information about it and then here's one i have to mention because it saved my life so many times and that is the flighty application so flighty will show in your dynamic island up there how long until the plane takes off it shows what gate number you're at which is so helpful anytime i'm in you know twitter if i'm safari whatever i can always just glance up there and see you know what gate i'm at and of course how long i have until it takes off and if you have to press on that if you long press on that it will show you all the details details of your flight like the gate departure it shows which airport to which airport if it's late if it's on time all of that 
right there. And of course, this does show as a live activity on your lock screen as well. So Flighty, amazing application for taking advantage of these features. Now, some of the first party uh, applications for like Delta and United do have live activities support and dynamic island support, but I've found that none of them are as good as Flighty. It's not a cheap application, but it is extremely useful. And speaking of expensive but useful, the Carrot application also has live activity support and dynamic island support. So if it's raining, if it's you know precipitation or snow inside of a certain city, it will show that up in the dynamic island. So you can see it shows up there. We have a uh, umbrella and it shows that it ends in more than 60 minutes. So it's gonna be raining for a while, but it will show up right there and it will automatically populate once it begins to rain or once it's approaching. It will also show you when rain is coming and in how long. So that's really cool. And you can see it does show it right here as a live activity on the lock screen as well. And since I didn't mention it, yes, you can have multiple live activities going at once. As you can see, both of these sitting right here on my lock screen at the same time. And by the way, they're both in the dynamic island as well. I just hid one of them. So you can see if you swipe over, it will show the other application as well. So if you swipe over to the right right here, so we'll try that again. There you go. You can see Flyd is right here and then we have the carrot application right here so you can see two of these different applications at the same time up here in the dynamic island the dynamic island and the live activities are also great for restaurants or like Starbucks for example so Starbucks it shows like when your order is ready it will show all that right there and then for chick-fil-a it does the same thing so it shows when your order is ready and it shows additional details right there and there are other interesting use cases for the dynamic island and live activities as well such as this application called lock launcher so this allows you to launch applications or basically perform different actions from this application so you can choose an action right here so such as opening up certain applications or certain system toggles you also have things like web games custom shortcuts VPN tools you could do all that you also have web and music so you can insert a URL you have shortcuts and you also have custom right here you can do all of these and they will appear on your lock screen so you can launch the applications from your lock screen very easily so if I tap on Instagram for example it will open up Instagram for me and it will show up in the dynamic island as well so I'm not a huge fan of that I think it looks kind of clunky but if you are into super customization you can check out an app like this which is called lock launcher but I will say that one thing I like about the lock launcher is if you go into the dynamic island section right here you can turn on certain features like what you want to show on the left and the right display so for example I have it set to show the date like the month day and week and also the Hertz so the promotion rate on my device currently so if I go out of here you can see up here in the dynamic island it does show my current date and the day of the week and also what hurts I'm at so my refresh rate is currently at 60 but if I start scrolling a little faster you can see it does move to 120 Hertz kind of a gimmick but it is pretty cool that you can do something like that up there in the dynamic island so definitely worth checking out once again if you do like customizing your device quite a bit and I will also say if you're somebody who does a lot of parking like on public streets if you live in a big city the park mobile application that's one of the most useful live activities and dynamic island indicators since it will always show you how much time is remaining until your parking spot is up until you need to feed the meter again so that's worth checking out as well if you are somebody who parks in public places often also if you are in a big city the city mapper application has a great use case for live activities so it will show you your data up here it will show you where to turn when you're walking and things like that so it's not available in my current city but I have used it in multiple cities cities like Vegas and Miami and then if you're trying to have some fun there's also a game called hit the island which is basically just a game where you move this and you try to hit the island so if I go over here you can see I didn't hit it there but I'll try to hit it this time so let's see if we can hit the island there we go so I get a point because I did hit the island so this is not really useful it's just kind of a fun little game to play to kill some time where you have to try to hit the island and it counts your score right there and there's also a really well-known application called pixel pal so if you want to have like a little pixel pal up there in your dynamic island you can do that as well where you can feed them and things like that so not my type of thing but that is pretty cool that you can do that straight from the dynamic island and by the way I should mention that even if you close out of certain applications they will continue Continue to show up in the dynamic island so this is another great use case for dynamic island so if an application crashes or something like that you'll still have access to the information up in the dynamic island so for example I have carrots if I close out of carrots you can see it still continues to show up here in the dynamic island it lives separate from the application itself and you can see right here flighty as well flighty is not open up in the background but it's still showing up here in my dynamic island and also as a live activity so now you might be asking well if I close out of the application and the dynamic 
island indicator, the live activity still doesn't go away. How am I supposed to get it to be removed? Like I want it to be gone. Why is it still showing up there? Well, you actually need to remove the live activity on the lock screen for it to disappear from your dynamic island. So all you have to do is go on here and then swipe over and that will get rid of the dynamic island indicator as well. So as you can tell, the dynamic island is so much more than what it seems on the surface, both with third party applications and also with first party applications and built in functionality, which I'm sure that will continue to get improved over the years as well. So I'm a big fan of it. And I hope this video helped you realize some ways that you can use the dynamic island and live activities on your iPhone. If you want to see maybe another video like this where I show more use cases for dynamic island applications, let me know down in the comment section below. I made one of these like three years ago when the dynamic island was brand new. But if you guys want to see more, let me know in a comment down below. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.